when it comes to interviews meetings or impressing someone trust me if formal language something that you need to use. Hi everyone, I'm Namita. Welcome back to my channel where you can become skillful, confident and fluent in speaking English. So today we are talking about informal and formal words. In common language, we use very informal words. The language is very informal. But if you really want to up the game of your communication skills, if you really want to polish your language skills, you need to substitute some general words, the common words that we use, the informal words that we use with some formal words. So I'm going to give you certain words that you can substitute, the very regular words which we use in our day-to-day -day life. I have a list right in front of me. I will share all I completely forget to speak in Hindi in between. So forgive me for that. I forget to I'll try to use a lot of Hindi. So we can words in which we substitute kar sake, uh, jinke, uh, aise, uh, informal words in which we can use formal words. I will share some words abhi, aapke share with you. So for help, assist. Instead of using help, you can ask for assistance from people. That's a formal usage. Start, comments. You have heard these words, but the difference is that formal looks more attractive. It looks more attractive. Mad, insane. I'm not going, you, you don't have to say I'm going mad. I'm going insane. Go up, increase. Tough, it's an informal word. You can say difficult in a formal language. Okay, sorry. Apologize. Like, sorry is something which every child is speaking. But if you use apologize, it will actually sound very impressive. Tell. Inform. Telling, informing. Can you see the difference in formal and formal? Need. Require. Ask. Request. Asking is again a not very polite way. So we can use request in a Formal setup. Check. Verify. Have you verified the number? Have you checked the number? There is a difference. Get. Receive. I received a package. So, therefore. So, therefore, when you use... Now, this is something very interesting. If you um, are telling some incident and if you're using so a lot of times, it will look a little redundant. It will boring. Ho jata hai. Use therefore. Sunne wale ko bhi bohat acha lagta hai. Aisa lagta hai ki aapki language kafi polished hai. Aapke skills kafi polished hai. Choose. Select. So informally hum choose bol dete hai. But formal usage mein we use select. Okay. Look for. Seek. I'm seeking some enlightenment. Or search. Aap seek and search dono use kar sakte ho. Looking for ki jaga pe. Maybe. Perhaps. So. ऐसा नहीं कि आपको पता नहीं है, you already know that there is something called perhaps, पर हम उतना यूज नहीं करते हैं, so, so इसके लिए instead of using maybe, we use perhaps, say no, when I said no, you can say I rejected, say no के जगह, which is an informal usage, you can use reject, buy, purchase, buy की जगह purchase कर सकते हैं, I purchased, so why do we use lot of informal words? So that our language thodi aur zada embellished lage. Aisa lage ki ha humne kam kiya hai apne upar. So it is not just speaking fluently. Sometimes it is about making it more polished, making it more attractive. So jab aap interviews ke liye especially jaate ho, jab aapko koi meetings jaise hold karni hoti hai, jab aapko kisi ko impress karna hai, you know, for the people go for their alliances, matrimonial ke liye meetings hoti hai. So these words, your choice of words really matter. Bohat matter karta hai. Casually, बहुत सारे लोग बोलेते हैं, slangs use करते हैं, but formal setup में formal words ही अच्छे लगते हैं. So instead of using regular day-to-day -day words, if you substitute your uh, formal lang informal language with some formal words, बहुत अच्छा लगेगा. So change your vocabulary, choose your words nicely, and then you see how you are going to have very impressive and attractive communication skills. So that's all for this video. Keep suggesting me what do you want to watch. Uh, English language wise and I'll keep coming up with more videos for you all. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.